Welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the third week of October 2020. So that's from the 12th to the 18th of October. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time. To see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And I'm using the Energy Oracle deck here to draw a couple of cards for you to start the reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious Oracle has for Scorpio for the third week of October 2020. messages are here for Scorpio for the third week of October 2020. What does Scorpio need to know? Oh, okay, <laughs> you've got action. <laughs> action sprang out. And I'll just draw you another card quickly. I'll divide the deck up and I'll just take a pile and draw one card from that. Uh, there we go. And let's see what you get. Angel of Balance. So you have a time for action. Moving something forward with a sense of purpose. <clears throat> and you have a need for balance, tranquility comes with balance. So although you may need to move forward there, you need to maintain balance. And that, I get a sense, involves clear communication as well. Right. So let's see what the rest of the reading has to show. Let's see what is on the cards for Scorpio for the third week of October 2020. What messages are here for Scorpio for the third week of October? does Scorpio need to know? Right, so I will draw four cards for you and the first card will depict you where you are. The second card will show your challenges at this time. The third card indicates advice from spirit. And then finally, the fourth card may reveal your possible outcome. And I'll put an underlining row of cards beneath that to act as clarification. Oh, so let's see what you get. Oh, you have the tower. And you have as your challenges the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands is your advice or your guidance for, and then the Six of Cups depicts your possible outcome. And beneath that you have the Knight of Coins, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands. There's your action, big time. And then you have the star, lovely outcomes, lovely outcome cards. And then the fool, the fool at the bottom of the deck. So although you're meeting with a, a big change, uh, perhaps an unprecedented, disruptive change um, 
it's something that's going to sweep away um, uh, things as you know it, things that you thought was secure, stable, solid, that have proved through this big change to be not that, to be, um, to not fit you as well as you thought they did. And this comes with um, what could be, for some of you, in, in the form of an offer. But um, I think it's a need to get back on the horse, to get back on track. Um, to begin to focus on something. Something that you can build upon. So, veneer has been stripped away by a sudden change or moment of epiphany and it comes with a new possibility or a new, a new beginning or a new drive to, to move towards something, to progress with something in, in a practical and material way. Um, perhaps you have met this challenge, this change with a steady and grounded determination. Good on you. Um, but your challenges at this time um, is a struggle to find that sense of energy that's needed to, to, to begin to move forward, especially after an unsettling moment of epiphany or change. To find you may need to be using your charm, your wit, um, your charisma and feel that you're struggling to bring that up to the fore in order to progress with a, the energy and the drive that is needed to get back on the horse, to get start this emotion, to, to get back into action. And as part of your challenge, you have, perhaps in taking on a new offer, you have um, accepted a lot more responsibility. Um, this is, you know, potential growth and it, it has may bring you to um, security and um, stability in the end but it, for now it feels it's a heavy burden you take you know I get a sense part of your challenge is a lot of responsibility and a sense of heaviness of, of, of what you what you're embarking upon but your vice row shows that you're in a very strong position to overcome any obstacles in your way and um, to move towards success. You, ha you, you know, you may find, although there are challenges around you, you are in a, you, you're able to stand your ground because you're in a good position. And you have the strength and the fortitude, the, the determination to win out on this. And this is a new beginning. This is something that is um, a, a potential for a lot of continued growth, energy and passion. This is something, this is the seed of a, a very um, creative and inspiring time and therefore something worth standing your ground for, worth the effort, worth the energy that's needed to put into it, worth the energy and focus and dedication needed. This is something that could bring out that charisma, that passion, that drive and energy and really, you know, 
something that is worth putting into action and that can have you moving forward quickly. Because you've got here, the you know, the full card shows the start of a new path, a new beginning. So out of this ending, out of this change, there's a, there's a new new beginning, a new start. Um, and the fool inspires you to take that leap of faith with the um, sense that everything will fall into place as it's meant to. Um, and you have as your outcome here a renewed sense of joy and peace. Something that reminds you of better days, uh, that re reconnect reconnection to um, who you really are, to that person you thought you left behind. Um, and it shows... There you have your angel of balance. It shows like regaining your sense of balance with renewed grace, with renewed hope and the a sense of a new day dawning, a new beginning. So although you may start the week with a um, unprecedented and disruptive change, that sees you taking on a lot more responsibility and wondering whether you can cope with it, you can bring yourself towards pursuing a new hopeful dream with the faith that it all will turn out well. So you, you know, it's sort of being advised to, to Put it into motion to take action, but remember to remain to gain it to keep balanced. Um, perhaps this whole endeavor brings you back to a state of balance, to a state of renewed balance and harmony. Yeah, regaining your balance after a a, a toppling moment and being successful in the end starting a new journey a new phase with hope and optimism so there you have it Scorpio time to spring into action it's almost like picking yourself up after a difficult time getting back on the horse and going for a dream a, a goal that will inspire and invigorate you and bring you back to reconnect with your true self. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonated with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. But whatever you decide, Scorpio, have a lovely week. And God bless you till we meet again. Uh -huh.